Let me pull, I'm gonna pull this out. Boys, welcome to the new power mods. Now, doesn't look like much right now, but it is coming. I've got a cool time-lapse video set up, so when I get that all done, when it's all done, then I can actually show it to you, and uh, you'll see how much work had to go into this. To make it power mods worthy, you know what, this is our new home, and uh, we're still moving stuff from Keeley's. We've got some ideas, I've got a vision. I've got a vision, and it looks actually pretty good in my head. You'll see it. Here is going to be a loft. I'm going to build it up, closed in a little bit. It's going to have a couch in it. So the boys can hang and play some video games while I'm doing my, doing my work. We've got the shelving here. Now we moved everything in really quickly. I've got it through. I've got to go through everything more or less, catalog it. This is going to be cleaned out a little bit more. There's an old kind of a little uh, office area. We're going to ditch that and use it for more sled space. Now the loft here, which is behind you, uh, we'll be able to put the razor in there. IQR 800 mountain mod. This is gonna be where it gets to stay, right here. It's gonna look good, like a trophy. It's gonna look pretty cool. This whole area back here is gonna be the business area. That's where we're gonna do all our shooting. It's about 40, it's about half the garage, so it's about 40 by 40. It'll be closed in a little bit because we're going to be using the paneling from the other shop, Achilles. It's going to be more or less kind of three and a half sides, if you will. This will be the opening. There'll be a truck hoist here, hopefully 11 or 12,000 pound rating on it. Pick up the big Fords and the heavy trucks. So it's going to be there. We're going to have all our paneling down here. We can easily back right in onto the hoist. I think I'm going to do a Jeep build as well. Uh, maybe start that next summer. Complete build. Maybe 11, 12 episodes in it. That'd be pretty cool. Um, this back wall is going to be closed in with the tin as well. And right where the wall ends, that's going to be another area to put cool sleds. We're going to put our sleds up there. Looks pretty good, pretty groovy, right? Closing that back area so it looks pretty tight. You won't see that back door, you won't see that window. More wall here, and a wall right up against the back of this. So essentially, we have three different areas to shoot video at all times. We can hoist, we can lift sleds up, trucks up, do whatever we want there. You know, we can do reviews, product stuff here. We can do installations right there. And I got these cool carts, little welding cart and uh, stuff for all the tools. have a whole bunch more stuff coming. And I'm shopping around buying the stuff kind of cheap. This is all out of some industrial type building that was torn down. Um, some of the shelves as well. We had to paint them. Family came in, helped me do that. We ground this floor out. Took a lot of work. 1960 something, this concrete was poured. Long time ago. It was in very bad condition, as you can tell. I filled the cracks with the epoxy and I'm gonna go over it, regrind it, and we're gonna epoxy it next week. The whole thing will be nice and nice and crisp looking. Then we'll regrind these cracks, put some chips in it, look pretty tight. And it'll give us some nice light uh, as well. You know, we need to brighten this up. Of course, we're not going to use those lights. We're going to have some T8 bulbs, 56K, 5600 uh, Kelvin. Uh, nice bright daylight type of bulbs, good for shooting. So you don't get that yellow tinge. You don't want that. And we have a few other little things planned as well, but that is more or less a rundown on what's going on here. A little bit of an update, if you will. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff to do on the rack. I have a whole bunch more parts and pieces. We're gonna do some work with the Power Mad um, kits. We're gonna mount these up onto some of the bikes. I still have to do a giveaway, but boy, you know, uh, 
a lot of work has gone into moving things here and working on this area right now. And I've been in talks with a lot of different companies about different things to make things a little bit more exciting for you boys. Uh, I'm going to do some work with the Vier system, the two-on-two bolt-on platform that's going on the Ford, which I'm going to talk about again later on. Love that Ford. Having a great time with it. Uh, Bubba Rope, doing some Evans. Now, Jamie just bought a Ducati motorbike. What kind is it? Hyper Motard 821. Uh, Hyper Motard? Yeah. Oh, I'm not touching that one. Yeah, no. So it's the Hyper Motard. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to convert that to the Evans. Boys, you need to run Evans waterless coolant in your bikes, especially the bikes that run hot, you uh, guys who are playing in the mud all the time. Razors, dirt bikes, you know, motocross type stuff, quads. Uh, you need to run that. We're going to do some work with uh, Super Clamp. Going to install the Genius Charger on the jet truck. Got these drain tamer coils, smart coils that are going on the Land Cruiser. And I've got a whole bunch of these lights here from Next Tech. We're going to install them. On, uh, on some trucks and on some tractors. What was that? I didn't know what that was. Mm. Um, what else? Oh, an Elka suspension. Elka suspension sent us this really cool box. And even cooler are the springs and shocks and everything inside there that are gonna go on the IQR 800. Not the Mountain Mod, it's gonna go on the 800 Shorty because it needs a good suspension. And Elka, of course, makes a great suspension. We're going to put those on. Lots to do. Oh, there's one other thing. Oh, two other things. Uh, some company here sent me this little gizmo. This is pretty neat. Look at this. This is a very bright LED light. It does a bunch of different things. Made by Sunjack. And it's also a charger for any one of your USB type things. So you can charge your phone or anything else. That's pretty cool. Been playing with this. I like it. I like it a lot. And there's this magical fluid in here. Um, it's an oil treatment we're playing with. Uh, like anything else, I like to test it out, see if it works. So I'm going to be putting this stuff into, it's in like an oil additive, into the bikes, the two strokes. It's going in the trucks. This oil treatment actually treats anything that's oil based. This is kind of mineral based, if you will, or a mineral carrier. And uh, hydraulic fluid, transmission fluid, air conditioner fluid, anything you can think of. So it's going to be going in and to everything we have, and I'm going to test it out. And I'm going to abuse it. I have some old engines that are pretty nasty, and they said, you know, try this and see what you think. Uh, it's a big hit down in, in some very hot climates. I'm not saying who makes it, because I want to try it first. That's just the way I am. And if it works, then I'll let everybody know. And what else? I think that's just about it. Jet truck's running well. Come over and see what else is going on. What else is going on here, Jimmy? Uh, well, it's not. There's okay. everything going on. Everything's going on. Uh, <coughs> I can't let the bag, uh, let it out of the bag. Uh, I can't let the cat out of the bag of everything, uh, about everything that's going on. Until things get firmed up. Uh, but what can I say? So I'm working with some big companies this year. It's going to be pretty fun. It's good for us. It's good for you. Um, it's kind of the direction that we want Power Mods to go. This is what we're going to call the Power Mods bunker, of course. This is the new command and control forward operating super bomb shelter Power Mods Army Headquarters. And, uh, oh, a whole line, uh, line of clothing. We're working on that. New logos. Power Mods Army uh, stickers, because everybody's in the Army, boys. If you love everything we love, you're in. Uh, there's no initiation. There's no boot camp. If you love it, you're in. Everybody's in the Power Mods Army, whether you like it or not. And uh, you know what? Even if you didn't know about the Power Mods Army, you do now, and you're in. Um... What else? What else? We're going to try to make it look cool. That's the, that's the big thing. This is all going to be cleaned up, of course. Now, the Keeley's getting a shop ready. We just went in there today, and it already has the milling equipment, uh, the woodworking equipment, the dust, the shop, I don't know what these are, dust collectors and uh, uh, 
planers, planers and, and saws. And saws and so we're in a rush. We got to get it out because he's uh, got a business to run. That's awesome. So I had to get everything out, and then I got to sort go. through bins. I got to sort through a lot of bins. Lots of bins. I have a lot of stuff that I've collected. Probably going to get rid of a lot of things actually because I just don't need it. And you know, some of the parts people could use them to help uh, their restorations. Um, that little land there, that little sweetheart, we have some pretty cool plans for it. It's going to be in inside the studio. We do see how we're going to do that. That's pretty neat. Um, the VK still have some work to do to it. I've got the razor and all my three wheelers and all the. I've got the fat cat or the power cat at home. I'm, I'm building another one. I've been toying around with it with my son. Uh, it's a 125 power cat. Um, and I think that's about it. Yes, everybody's been asking about the enticer. Yes, they love that enticer. It's a, it's it's a, it's awesome. I, I mean, how can you not love it? Was an a enticer? tease two years ago. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> two seasons ago. Okay. Two seasons. Not ago. not not two full years. I don't think. Year and a half. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm working on it. Okay, so it's coming out here along with the Elan 800. Uh, Camelplast is on board. We're gonna put a 174, three inch. You didn't even know that. 174 by three track on it. <laughs> It's gonna well you need that much track with that with the land for sure uh, so that's gonna be yeah those are gonna be done it's gonna work out a lot better now this is kind of closer to home for me easier to get to so I'm gonna have more time and access to everything that I need we're gonna become a little more efficient here at power mods I know but we're still busy don't forget that uh, but I need to get that enticer done. I need to get the land done and a few other little things. I have some things to do that little baby right there as well. And the VK 1000, I want to race it on the grass soon. So it's very important that I get that done. It sounds so beastly. Here, let me start it. Wants to go and it wants to go bad and uh, we have an area to make it go check this out VBS used to fly those a long time ago uh, if you look down there that's a big giant long grass strip so we have a place to play How cool is that? So, that is the update from Power Mods, the new Power Mods headquarters. How's it look? look Power cool. Mods Bunker. Power Mods Bunker. And it looks like, you know, we don't want to, well, come on in. You know, we don't want to make it look too awesome. Well, not that. You don't want it too clean. I like this bunker kind of look. When it's all said and done, it's going to have a lot of character, uh, but it's still going to do what we want. It's going to have that Power Mods Army kind of feel to it. Um, you know what? We could have went out and rented a brand new building and all that, but I kind of like the character of this. I like the country setting. It's good times. That's what Power Mods is all about. So thanks for coming back, guys. And uh, stay tuned. Yes, more videos are coming. You just got to give me a little bit of time. The time lapse is going to look pretty cool. It is actually really neat so far because I've put a lot of days into this my family's put a lot of days Jamie's put a lot of time into this as well and uh, we'll compress all that into about four minutes so it's going to be pretty neat all right let's get out of here Jamie